Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation. Today we're gonna be doing a little something on Da Vinci Resolve. Yeah. <laughs> um, editing. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I love editing. <laughs> To start with, Resolve has tons of transitions. I mean tons, man. I mean, look at this shit. Good lord. Just drag and drop any of these between your clips. Even my caveman brain can do that. So here are some of my favorites. I really like this circle one. It's good for some infographics or some, you know, Finzari stuff. Uh, or whatever you want to do. <laughs> uh, the camera shake. It's got some good control options. You can, like, add motion blur. You can slow it down. But overall, you know, it looks, it looks okay. You got the flip 3D transition because that shit goes hard as f I love that. You got a foreground wipe. Whoa. Ho ho ho. You got some classic whip pan transitions. Make sure you turn on motion blur. That looks good. And slap a rotation on there. Also with motion blur. Mm, that looks good. And then this one. Look at that. What? Yeah, so I mean, in terms of default transitions, this software wins the game easily. But Finn, what about your image animations? You know, the ones that slide up, have special keyframes, and do all this kind of wee woo uh, kind of stuff. What about those? Yeah, kinda. So come on, at least manual keyframes? Yeah, there are, there are manual keyframes, but they're a little bit annoying to get into, I'm not gonna lie. Let's talk about some effects, like camera shake. On Premiere Pro, you have to drag and drop a preset on top of something. Whereas in DaVinci, it's a default effect that you can just drag and drop onto a clip, and then you can change it to be as shaky or as subtle as you want it to be. That is actually pretty cool, and I don't know why Adobe hasn't done something like this yet. What are you doing, Adobe? What are you doing? Get out of here! Oh look, I'm getting a FaceTime call. Just kidding. It's a, uh, it's an effect. You fell for that. Idiot. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. We can make it cinematic. We can add some lens flares. Yes! More! More lens flares! More! Give me more! Michael Bay! You know that movie about Van Gogh? No, 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 no. The painted one. No, not the one with Willem Dafoe. The painted one. You know, the hand painted one. Yeah, make it like that. Sweet. And how about audio? Well, there's only one way to find out. Bring in the MP3. Yeah, so, you know, DaVinci's full of effects and, and stuff like that, and transitions are good. Uh, so everybody, thank you for coming to my presentation. Yeah, Finn, so does that mean you're switching to DaVinci Resolve? Uh, no. What? But why? You said all the effects are cool. Uh, because Premiere is just, uh, I'm used to it, it's better. But Finn! I'm gonna end it here, um, and to anyone who's wondering why why I'm not switching to DaVinci and why I'm staying on Premiere, then, you know, not Although that it's, it's any, any of your business, business but f*** you and f*** off, and leave me to my lotions. Up oh, the floor just cracked, I believe I might find- I got, got it.